Over the last few weeks, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has continued to provide updates to the public on the significant increases in trends of dengue viral infection. These increasing trends now constitute an outbreak. This means that the numbers currently being reported exceed the numbers expected and as such warrant an immediate and targeted response. As of January 1st, 2024, to date, the Ministry of Health has confirmed 205 cases of dengue. No deaths have been recorded. Of these cases, 53% are female, with more than half occurring in the 15 to 49 age group. While these cases are observed to be spread throughout the island, the majority have been confirmed in the north of the island, with 29% in Castries, also 29% in Grosely, and 11% from Babono. August accounted for 47% of all cases to date, which was a 174% increase from the previous month of July. To date, cases seem to be continuing on an upward trend, with approximately two-thirds of that confirmed for August already confirmed for September. While most of the reported cases are concentrated in the northern, central, and eastern parts of the island, cases have also been reported in the south and west of the island, but to a lesser extent. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, therefore, solicits the usual cooperation of the public in dealing with this emerging public health threat. Dengue fever is one of the most prevalent arboviral infections worldwide. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne viral disease transmitted by female mosquitoes, mainly of the species Aedes aegypti and, to a lesser extent, Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes are also vectors of chikungunya, yellow fever, and Zika viruses. The mosquito lives in urban habitats and breeds mostly in man-made containers. It feeds primarily during the day with peak biting periods in the early morning and in the evening before sunset. Dengue is widespread throughout the tropics with local variations in risk influenced by rainfall, temperature, relative humidity, and unplanned rapid urbanization. Dengue is endemic to St. Lucia. This means that there is continued local transmission which often peaks during and after rainy seasons. There are four distinct but closely related serotypes of the virus that cause dengue. Recovery from infection is believed to provide lifelong immunity against that particular serotype. However, cross immunity to the other serotypes after recovery is only partial. After recovering from a first dengue infection, a person is protected from infection with the remaining three dengue serotypes for two to three months. Subsequent infections or secondary infections as they are referred to by other serotypes increase the risk of developing severe dengue. Dengue viral disease has an incubation period of four to 10 days after the bite from an infected mosquito. About 75% of dengue infections are asymptomatic or produce a very mild febrile illness. Persons with mild dengue may present with fever accompanied by rash, nausea or vomiting, pain behind the eye, muscle and joint pain. In its more severe form, persons may progress to bleeding from the gums or nose, vomiting blood and passing blood in the stool. They may also experience severe abdominal pain and or excessive vomiting which may lead to dehydration. Approximately 5% of persons progress to the severe form of dengue infection. There is no specific treatment for dengue and management is supportive based on clinical presentation. Testing for dengue is available in St. Lucia and the Ministry of Health and Wellness urges persons who may be experiencing signs and symptoms to seek care at the nearest wellness center. Dengue fever cannot be transmitted from one person to another and requires the presence of the mosquito. It is common to have several persons in the household affected with dengue fever as all that is required is the presence of a mosquito and an infected individual. 
Prevention and control, therefore, involves the elimination of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Because the vector requires water to breed, the public is asked to assist in the control of dengue by eliminating breeding sites in and around the homes. The vector is capable of breeding in the smallest of receptacles, so frequent checks around the home is essential to combat the spread of dengue. Persons are also advised to avoid the indiscriminate dumping of garbage, which also serves as a breeding ground for the mosquito. Please adhere to the scheduled garbage collection days and times. If you have been diagnosed with dengue, please sleep under a mosquito net to avoid being bitten by the mosquito. The use of insect repellent is also recommended to control the spread of dengue virus. Repellent may be applied directly to the skin, clothing, or mosquito nets. Together, we can break the transmission cycle. The Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs will continue to provide the public with updates on the dengue situation in St. Lucia.